you know you will not believe how beautifully i have explained this question more than your expectations i have given content in this solution not only content i have talked lot of things about this solution one student texted me on whatsapp that sir your solution is being very lengthy guys my solution is not lengthy my explanation is lengthy because i am not only solving the numerical i am also teaching you lot of things related to the numerical and nearby topics also i am covering with tricks also so don't for, don't say that i am uh, solving this question in very lengthy you understand continuously i am talking 20 minutes uh, 15 minutes 25 minutes for a particular question and that too i have already taken down all the notes so how important content i am delivering through this solution okay and one more thing my students my live class students they are not watching this word video because already we will discuss all these questions in class right whenever they will ask the doubt i am going to explain this this like and to every individual i explain this doubt separately it's not like uh, i am teaching previous year question paper in class i don't do that i don't solve previous year question in class uh, this is my students duty i teach them concepts i give them assignments i give them test series i discuss test series i discuss assignment and in same way i i used to say them go and solve previous year question paper by yourself and if you are not able to solve then every individual student is solving previous year question paper at different different timing and they are asking doubts at different different timing and see my potential i am explaining them the same questions at different different timing because every student is not solving uh, same question paper in same time okay i have given complete freedom so this video what i am making right now my students are actually uh, like uh, this is especially for the self study students and lot not only self student because it is public on youtube so anyone can watch anyone can get benefited because my intention is to deliver the best content here okay if i am making solution i should i should make it worth okay guys believe me this solution the way i have explained here no one else and of course after me many people will watch my solution and they will further up upload the solutions after wa watching my solution in detail but see here the way i am explaining this you will love this i am damn sure let's start the solution see guys <laughs> gate airspace 2022 aircraft solution we are solving and one more thing in the last i will teach you how to cheat how to cheat this particular question in gate exam or related questions in gate exam if you are not able to solve the numerical suppose only 5 minutes are remaining in the last then in the last also you may get the right answer without solving the numerical there is a trick okay for this particular question okay i am not saying that you should follow this i am saying in the last because see in this question you don't have negative marking because it was uh, fill in the blanks question nat question numerical answer type question so we don't have neg negative mark so if you are not if you are running out of time in the gate exam these kind of questions you can cheat using my trick okay let's go and or remember i why i have done this i am not explaining solution here i am giving detailed solution with extra topping on pizza let's go ahead so question is a 0.5 meter long thin walled circular shaft of radius 2 cm here itself you have information thin walled and remember when thin walled is given then all india is going to solve this numerical with one assumption what is that assumption radius we are going to consider as the mean radius okay i will uh, uh, tell you what what i mean actually see whenever thin walled section is given the thickness used to be something right and our job is that in in class how do i teach i used to tell you that you have to take the mean radius correct in all the thin walled sections in class i have given you practice problems to use thin walled mean radius mean radius right mean radius i hope you understand but if you are solving with the mean radius then your answer will be very very close to that answer what they are expecting in gate exam with this assumptions also like the real radius you can equate with the mean radius now see here is only the trick that this trick i will explain in the last without solving how can you get the answer <laughs> okay now next part uh, read the question further so this is a uh, radius is of 2 uh, cm shaft radius is of 2 cm now see few more things are mentioned here is to be designed for an axial load of this much kilo newton that is 7.4 kilo newton and a torque of 148 newton meter applied understand the physical feel of this it means the engineer wants to design a shaft on this shaft they want to apply two types of load one load axial and one load twisting load twisting moment now get the logic this is a 
this is a hollow shaft right on hollow shaft you try to imagine how will you apply uh, axial load is it, it is hollow so of course axial load you can't apply at the center get my logic so see here many students they have done mistake i will tell you uh, in my coaching center how many students have done mistake in the live exam actually six students took complete area this is one mistake 30 students did this question correctly now i will tell you because i teach everything at molecular level that's why 30 students they did not make mistake see here when you have this kind of hollow shaft then how are you going to apply axial load this is hollow portion here you can't apply axial load right if you want to pull the shaft of course at the material itself you will apply the load here 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 then only uh, axial load is possible in hollow portion how will you apply the load i hope i hope you understand at this point 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 then only you can pull the shaft in this direction correct then only you can pull the shaft in this direction so they are saying the axial load what is applied on the shaft that load is given so how much that load is so for that you see the data uh, and the next part uh, 7.4 kilo newton axial load is applied okay and they are also applying 148 newton meter twisting moment okay get my logic this shaft they are actually designing for a particular purpose okay because uh, the the shaft has to bear two different loads always remember always remember some basic concepts see here whatever like uh, some more questions can be asked using this so first i will discuss what more type of questions they could have asked uh, in 2022 for this particular topic actually they could have given you a sphere and in that sphere they can say that it is pressurized sphere in that case also we used to find out sigma uh, uniform and i mean sorry sorry very sorry sigma is in case of sphere we have one type of sigma and that we call sigma circumferential stress right and in case of pressurized cylinder we have two types of stress right one is sigma circumferential and one is sigma axial we we also call this as hoop stress my point is using these two uh, type of data also they could have given the same question okay why because see uh, okay let me finish the question i want to explain a lot of things so see here uh, now see they are saying at its tip okay anyway they are applying the torque at the tip no problem as shown in figure i'll come to the figure the allowable stress under you can see uniaxial uniaxial tension means you have in only one direction uh, you can see the figure very soon is 100 megapascal is 100 megapascal now the allowable stress get my logic allowable stress it means more it means what more than this is not allowed okay more than this is not allowed means what now you tell the you get the physical feel using maximum principal stress criteria actually see guys i have told you right when person will die with different different diseases then after the de death you remember that concept okay after the death which uh, uh, which which uh, which disease was responsible uh, if you if, if if you are my coaching student then uh, you may be knowing this example i uh, i i used to teach uh, uh, you know failure criteria right using this example so you hear what you see here what they have given using maximum principal stress okay you understand only this much is allowed axially and you know maximum principal stress is that normal stress which is maximum so under maximum principal stress criteria you just uh, understand this using maximum principal stress criteria so i have given you some points here that uh, everything i will explain see actually three concepts are required three concepts first about axial next about tau which is shear and third about concept of failure theory criteria so first you understand the third one maximum principal stress we will equate with allowable principal stress because more than this is not allowed but get my logic this allowable stress is not shear nature it is of normal nature that's why we can equate this to maximum principal stress why because maximum principal stress what is its nature it is normal okay it is not maximum shear it is maximum principal maximum principal nature is always normal okay and axial is also normal okay now that's why i can equate that i will uh, repeat the question the minimum thickness we have to calculate t okay because you are designing shaft of uh, very thin walled section so of course you should uh, think about thickness so how much thickness we should provide okay so so that a member should not fail now i will say that this is the diagram here you can see 
this is the shaft shaft length completely and it is circular in cross section but it has a very thin thickness so this 148 newton meter is that torque what we are applying and 17.4 is the axial one okay now see here guys see if one question itself is explained in proper detailed manner then number of practice hours of practice will decrease because in one question itself you will understand lot of data lot of concepts okay this is the beauty this is the beauty what i teach okay now all india is going to solve this assumption with one assumption that the real uh, radius they will consider as the mean radius but see actually this is not the reality when we are solving questions in gate uh, in uh, in home practice in home practice i suggest you to calculate mean radius and that mean radius will help you to calculate uh, required areas okay now common mistakes as i said six students they took the complete area for uh, axial case that is one big mistake and that is they did correctly no problem i always teach at molecular level now second one unit conversion mistake unit conversion mistake is very very possible here because data is given in centimeter it is given in uh, millimeter it is given in meter also and it is also given because see length was given in meter so these are the possible mistakes and kilo newton is there mega pascal is there so all varieties of units are given so definitely here one mistake you can do now unexpected mistakes also students have done one student she she told me sir in hari bari i took t by g is equal to tau by r is equal to j theta by l and she said sir i forgot the trick itself to recall the formula and i was like oh my god her step was absolutely clear so guys it's not t by g it's t by j tau by r g theta by l because you are watching previous solution so i am expecting you know this formula okay if you don't know the formula then don't worry you are watching viru sir on youtube definitely every single video will add value in your career okay in your gate preparation let's go ahead see the branded trick i have two tricks for this formula one trick is in english one trick is in hindi so first you see the english trick amazing you will love that man you will love this see here tight jeans trousers get that list tight jeans trousers get that list tight jeans trousers get that list so see here tight jeans means t by j trousers means tau by r get that list that means theta get means g g theta list means l okay so tight jeans trousers get that list i hope it's clear so hit the like button now see hindi trick you see hindi trick tej tyohar jio jetha lal you know tarak mehta serial jetha lal so tej tyohar tej means t by j tej 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 tyohar tau r tau r sounds like tyohar tyohar tau r tyohar tau r so tau by r jio jio means g g jetha means theta lal means so g theta l g theta by l i hope it's totally clear i i hope you're loving this so many times this hindi trick i have explained on youtube okay from last several years i'm i'm explaining this trick now toughness level actually you will consider very high toughness level because when student is solving this under pressure in gate exam you will consider very high toughness level is high but generally it is a moderate level question when you are solving this question at home and anyway at home all questions are easy but in, in gate exam you know easy problem will also appear tough so because i used to attend every gate paper only for this purpose so that i can give you the reality of the question paper like how a student is experiencing the question paper in gate exam that to 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 experience that i used to uh, take gate exam every year this year also 2023 i am taking okay so just immediately after exam hall i will come out and i will update about question paper and like last year i did in same way okay now see the solution part here so three concepts we have to remember one concept we have to bother about sigma axial why sigma axial i will tell you see here actually uh, they are asking thickness so my our main concept is here uh we have to equate our maximum principal stress with allowable stress allowable stress is given 100 mega pascal but maximum principal stress we don't know but we know how to calculate maximum principal stress guys first you understand this diagram actually see when you are loading your cylinder like this so definitely the force what you are applying you have to apply on the material okay now you do one thing cut this from here so it will look like this now fold this properly and make it like a sheet sheet here 
so now you can see this thickness was t and this total length is a circular uh, circumference that is 2 pi r so 2 pi r became this total circumference this is 2 pi r and thickness is t so what will be the area of the material area of the material is 2 pi r so actually load what was applied in the question actually that is applied on the material so in reality it is applied like here okay like here so that's why the reality is the resultant total i can consider that it is applied here so this load p is applied on this area so i can find out what is the normal stress so that normal stress is only we are calling as axial stress here right so this axial stress you can apply by p by which area which area appropriate area guys always remember whenever i teach in live class i explain every time which area we have to consider i don't write the formula area i write the formula appropriate area okay because according to the load area changes so uh, this is how we are going to calculate sigma axial so axial load done now again next part so to calculate your uh, major principal stress wait to calculate your major principal stress in any element how do we calculate major principal stress i have taken element here so see here in this element you see this is your top face so in this direction just now i told you that you can see it is like this so imagine this material is loaded with it is like this okay so in this direction you don't have any stress only in this direction you have load so in this direction you can have a stress so this stress i am saying is sigma x and this stress sigma y is zero this sigma x i can calculate okay sigma x i can calculate using load by area see it was a lengthy question but you have to understand in detail sigma y no need but one more thing torsion was there so because it is also given twisting moment in the question so because uh, the, the 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 twisting 1.5 newton meter okay so because twisting moment is applied so twisting moment will create shear okay so where will be the shear so shear will be on the skin so you can see shear will be on the skin you can see here so tau x y means what see sigma x axial load is given sigma sorry not given we have to calculate sigma y is zero and tau x y we will calculate because of the applied twisting moment okay get my logic so for that you understand this was the second concept involved t by j is equal to tau by r you will apply so from here tau max we have to find out like how much maximum shear can develop okay that much thickness we have to provide so that maximum shear we can bear okay that much thickness we have to provide so that maximum thickness is being calculated for the applied twisting moment capital t okay now this r just now i told you that we have assumption of r and mean are equal okay so always remember in case of thin th thin circular shaft it is direct mandatory to remember the j formula polar moment of inertia that is 2 pi r cube by t and with the assumption of r is equal to r you can cancel one r with r cube okay so it is going to be r square so we got tau max value because t is given r is given and uh, small t will be as small t don't don't make uh, we don't have value to substitute there okay now question is main work is to calculate maximum principal stress so we have two symbols one is sigma p1 one is sigma p2 some people teach this as sigma 1 and sigma 2 okay some people teach this as sigma roman 1 sigma roman 2 i mean principal stresses always remember we have two different major uh, ma uh, uh, two different principal stresses okay they both both actually i'm talking about 2d in 3d we have three but both all the three in 2d all the two they are normal in nature they are not shear in nature okay you can see continuously i am delivering the concept but still concept is there that's why i'm keep on delivering and of course it takes time but guys see you are in learning mode you are not sitting in the live uh, live gate exam so you can spend time to understand the logic okay now don't text me on whatsapp sir your uh, uh, explanation is very lengthy this is explanation is for you now next part so we have to work on sigma p1 we don't have to work on sigma p2 because according to the given criteria of maximum principal stress criteria your major principal stress we have to equate with allowable stress so first thing allowable stress is given as 100 mega pascal it is given the question but sigma p1 we have to calculate so in sigma x is nothing but sigma axial so sigma axial we will calculate like this and t term will come it means what this sigma x will contain t okay now you can see i have converted 7.4 kilo newton into newton and this 20 from where 20 is coming so for that one centimeter is 10 millimeter so two centimeter will be 20 millimeter okay and one kilo newton is 10 to power 3 so data is given uh, radius is given two centimeter that's why i have given uh, i have made this 20 millimeter okay now load was given 100 mega pascal no need to change no need to change because 
100 मेगा पास्कल दिस इज अलावेबल स्ट्रेस 100 मेगा पास्कल नो नीड टू चेंज बिकॉज मेगा पास्कल कंटेंस मिलीमीटर व्हाई आई एम टॉकिंग बिकॉज वी हैव टू कीप अवर फ्लो ऑफ द सोल्यूशन इन इन मिलीमीटर बिकॉज थिकनेस दे हैव आस्ड इन मिलीमीटर दैट्स व्हाई ओके सो सिग्मा एक्स क्लियर सिग्मा एक्स क्लियर मीन्स दिस पर्टिकुलर डाउट क्लियर दिस पर्टिकुलर डाउट क्लियर हाउ विल यू फाइंड आउट टाउ सो फॉर टाउ यू कैन क्लियरली सी टाउ एक्स वाई वी विल कैलकुलेट यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला दिस फॉर्मूला ओनली आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग समवेयर हियर somewhere here okay sigma tau so sigma tau also you can find out using this formula this t is directly given and this 2 and pi and r just now i told you 2 20 mm and t you leave as it is the answer will come this much now we got our sigma x also and we got our tau also substitute values here then you will be getting uh this right side answer you will be getting in terms of t and left side answer it is directly allowable stress okay now focus here i am not changing mega pascal into pascal why because i am looking answer in millimeter in last explanation i have given and one more thing very very important you just go to my youtube and you go to the playlist of aircraft structure gate 202 solution concept library concept library just you mention here concept library then only you can see the entire playlist of solution of 2022 in detail and i am promising you no one will explain like this the way i am explaining okay it is only for you t is equal to this much now you see how to cheat this question so they are asking in nearest integer so in nearest integer is 1 mm because i am getting 0.9 now see here you can cheat this question because see the given data of this circular shaft like this one this itself was 20 mm this itself was 20 get my logic because this itself was 20 and it is thin it is thin so there is only two possibility of getting thickness very very thin thin means this thickness this thickness this thickness so now see here from here this data itself was 20 and we have to make a thin wall so it is very clear that either your answer will be 1 mm or your answer will be 2 mm so in hurry bari suppose you don't have time to uh, solve this numerical so you can choose 1 mm and just 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 do this okay in next time when you have uh, uh, when you have no time to solve a big numerical just read the numerical get some physical feel and because you are an engineer you may be knowing that uh, one of our scientist uh, he went to america i forgot the name of that respected scientist he went to america and there was a tank okay and uh, uh, they did not allow any instrument to measure anything so that scientist he just knocked the wall of the tank and he understood okay how much is the thickness so this is the beauty of physical feel and he came back to india and then he discovered a very beautiful tank i have forgot this story also uh, completely same thing recently uh, a rocketry movie came right namin narayan sir so similar story you can watch there okay similar story so that's why physical feel is very very important guys very very important okay i hope you are liking my solution series let's meet in next video